If you want to upgrade your IT skills, head over to Pluralsight. They have the best course material out there. I've been using Pluralsight for a while now and I really like their way of teaching. Free course material is definitely a great start, but it can make it difficult to find out what you need to be learning in the right order. Using Pluralsight's paths, however, can get you an easy path to follow towards your IT career goals. You can either get a 10 day free trial or a 50% discount on the first month using the links in the video description. Thank you so much for watching guys and now on to the video. Hello and welcome everybody. I am Herbert and in this video I wanted to show you guys how to create a multi-boot USB. Now the reason why I want to do this is because I've been using it for a while and I thought well, maybe there are some people out there that actually want to uh, have their lives a little bit organized by using one USB stick to boot all of their operating systems from. And also, any other tool that can be booted of a USB drive, you can use this UB boot multi boot uh, USB stick to uh, to do those things. Now, you know, maybe there's some people out there that already know about this, but I thought like, I wanna go back to creating videos and I thought it's actually something that I've been using quite a lot and it's something that I never really shared with you guys. And I thought that maybe if anybody's out there who has like a bunch of USB drives laying around, one for Windows 11, one for Windows 10, then they have a separate stick where they have a bootable Ubuntu installation or a bootable Red Hat installation, whatever it is in your case, uh, it's just so easy to have a one USB stick to boot them all. So let's get started. So we want to go into this website. We want to go onto Pendrive Linux and go to pendrivelinux.com and we're going to go into this uh, link here. So we're going to click Yumi Multi Boot USB Creator and this will uh, forward us to this page over here. And what we want to do is we want to select the XFAT uh, legacy is good if you want to have uh, something like Windows XP or you have a older uh, Ubuntu installation or anything that's not really very recent, like for example, DOS, if you still use DOS. So we want to click this Yumi XFAT option over here because that's going to give us the best support for recent operating systems and it also supports UEFI. So this, this one also here, um, the Yumi UEFI is for FAT32 only. Um, I don't really, I haven't really looked into the reason why anybody would download this. There's probably some reasons why they uh, would download this. It's probably very dependent on the distro itself. But generally speaking, for modern operating systems, you would choose XFAT. So let's go ahead and click that. Um, I'm going to remove this little uh, commercial over here and then... We're going to scroll down and we're going to click download Yumi. Now, for anybody out there who has a antivirus running on their system, um, you might want to be a little bit careful here because if you click it, you see this app can't run on your PC. And the reason for that is if I go into my antivirus here, I'll, I'll open up my Acronis Cyber Protect. This is like a, uh, this is, by the way, a very good, uh, a very good uh, piece of software over here uh, because it has like a built in antivirus and it also does, does your backups and stuff like that. But, you know, I digress. Uh, we're going to continue or we're going to go into our quarantine. I will see over here that just a minute ago, it put this into quarantine. So what we want to do is we want to click restore to the original location and, you know, it's going to be different for other antiviruses but the reason for that is because it does this false positive because it thinks that it's going to change your master boot record and of course there are some viruses out there that do change your master boot record and it makes makes it very very hard to get rid of those viruses uh so you know i'm not going to say that it, it, it's a bad thing uh but it's definitely annoying because yumi is um uh, safe it's safe to use i've been using it for years and never had any issues with it but you know it's sort of a false positive where it says that you know oh this program can change your master boot record and i'm like fine you know it has to <laughs> because it has to create a, bo a bootable usb drive but anyway let's go into our uh, downloads folder here 
I will see that, you know, the Yumi XFAT EXE, I have it twice here, you know, just for demo purposes. Uh, we're going to just execute that. I'm going to click yes. And during the execution, you know, our antivirus might come complaining again. Uh, we'll see that in a minute. And so now, uh, I didn't show you guys this, but I do have an empty USB drive over here, which is like 28 gigs. You know, it's actually a 32 gig drive, but you know how it goes with Windows. Uh... So we're going to select this drive, which is currently formatted in FAT32. And it's going to ask us, has not been prepared. You want to, you want UB to prepare and format it and you click yes. So do take note guys that this is going to remove all the data from your USB stick. So if there's anything on there that you still need, uh, you know, do your due diligence and copy it over to a separate drive or anything like that, uh, just to make sure that you don't lose any any of your data. So we're gonna click install, and then we're gonna, it's a, just a double check here, click yes again, and here we have it. So, oh, it's already coming complaining, like, oh, it's just trying to change your master boot record. And we're like, okay, that's fine. We do wanna change it because, you know, we need to. Uh, there we go. And it's gonna come complaining again, just gonna trust it okay continue so this not you no know, this might happen for you or this might not happen for you uh some antiviruses are a little bit um more sensitive uh to these kinds of things and mine definitely is so okay uh we're just gonna click okay here uh we don't want to select the distribution to install uh we don't want to really do that don't want to do it in this way we just want to click cancel here because, you know, UB is now installed and we can start working with uh, the Yumi boot drive. Um, uh, I have it opened over here. I'm going to drag it over here. So we have a new drive called D. Well, the drive letter is still the same, but it's now called Yumi. And we have this subfolder called Yumi. So we're going to go into Yumi. And now we want to go into our isos so i have a few isos here so i have ubuntu windows 11 uh, let's just say windows 11 english and ubuntu um we want to copy those over so um maybe um before we actually get into it we can uh do something like this we're gonna create a folder called windows isos and then we're gonna create a folder called Linux ISOs and those can just uh, and those will appear in our boot menu. So if we uh, boot into Yumi, which we're going to do in a second, we're going to just prove that this works also. We'll have a, uh, a directory called Windows ISO. Well, actually, it's more like a menu item as I see it. We're going to have a directory or folder or menu item or whatever you want to call it called Windows ISOs. And then we have Linux ISOs. And if we go back into our ISOs folder, we can uh, let's just open it up here. We're going to have Ubuntu over here and we're going to drag that into the Linux ISOs. Uh, by the way, TerraCopy is a fantastic tool if you, uh, if you want to have something better on your Windows machine, uh, for copying files. Uh, it has things like unattended copy and things like that. So maybe check that out as well. Might do a video on it as well. Uh, I don't know if it's really worth it. Um, let me, let me, let me know in the comments if you actually want me to do a little bit of an overview of TerraCopy um, because it's it's a tool that I've been using for a while. It's not that special. It's very you know straightforward. You just install it and it works. But anyway, uh, let's just continue with the video here. Uh, Windows 11 English International. I'm going to copy that into the Windows ISOs. And now we play the waiting game. We just wait and it's going to take a while. So I'm going to pause the video here and we'll be back when everything is finished. Now everything has been copied, let's go into the boot menu of our PC and let's boot off of the USB stick that we just uh, created. Now we can see that the directories that we created, Windows ISOs and Linux ISOs are both present here. And you'll see also that in those folders, the correct ISOs are also present. Now what we'll do is we'll start of the Windows 11, just for testing purposes. Uh, I assure you that the Ubuntu ISO also works, but now let's just start Windows 11 and we'll see that Windows 11 starts just perfectly. And that's how you create a multi-boot USB drive. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you liked the video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below or subscribe if you wanna see more of my videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.